Hello, this tutorial comes live from in my bed with stage one man flu, aka I got a sore throat. A lot of people have asked me about cross polarization, so I decided to make a tutorial about it. <clears throat> but first, what is cross polarization and what do we use it for? Cross polarization is a technique by which we selectively filter light in order to control highlights and specifically specular reflections. If you're using cross-polarization, then you're probably trying to completely remove the specular highlights so that you only see the diffuse component of the image. This can be useful for 3D scanning, for shooting references of real-life materials, or even just for artistic control. How does cross-polarization work? I'm glad you asked. Here's my camera. Here's my subject. If I put a circular polarizer on the lens, then some of the reflections in the scene are being filtered out. The polarizing filter rejects some of the light, depending on which way it's oriented. That's why a polarizer makes your image darker, because less light is making it into the final image. But this isn't cross-polarization. There's light coming from everywhere, bouncing all over the place, which means that the light is polarized in all different kinds of directions. The polarizer on your lens is only able to filter out a small selection of that light at a time. By itself, it's never going to be able to kill all the reflections in a scene like this. That's just impossible. However, if you add a filter to the light source as well, then suddenly you do have cross-polarization. And if you have control over the light in your scene so that there is no bounce light coming back to your subject, you can get rid of virtually all reflections. Here's what you need to do it. Gear. A circular polarizer filter for your lens. A light source. And linear polarizing film. I bought mine from polarization.com. It was about $15 a foot. Tools. A marker, scissors, and tape. First, lay out your film and mark the piece you want to cut out. My ring light has a filter that attaches to it, so I just trace that filter to get the right shape. Next, cut out the film. Finally, tape it to your light. As far as I've been able to tell, it doesn't matter which side faces out, it'll give you the same result. Now stick your circular polarizer on your lens, and that's it, you've got cross polarization. Let's test it out. All you need to do is rotate the filter on your lens to see the effect. At one end of the spectrum, we see what's called the parallel polarized image. We see not only the diffuse component, but also the specular. In fact, things will look shinier than usual here because the filters are currently letting more of the specular component through than they are the diffuse. As we rotate the filter toward the other end of the spectrum, the specular component starts to disappear and we start to see only the diffuse component instead. Go around your house and find different things to photograph. You'll begin to see how different materials react to the cross-polarization. Shiny plastic will start to look rough like rubber. Metal starts to become very dark, bordering on black in some cases. And mirrors stay the same. Maybe it's because the glass in front of the mirror affects the light too much. I have no idea. But the technique will kill reflections on most materials. It's something I've been using almost exclusively in my own scans, including what I'm working on now, a series of scan texture packs. If you like textures, I think you'll like classy scans, I can't say too much about it yet, but I'm making sure they're the best damn textures I can create, and I plan to release the first pack later this summer. If you want, head over to my Gumroad page and enter your email to be notified when I upload the packs. If you're looking to get clean texture maps in your scans, or you're just a photographer looking for another way to control highlights and reflections, cross-polarization is an excellent and fairly easy technique to learn. I hope this little guide was helpful, and until next time, stay classy.